so good. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to um, pop back on here. They say back in when I first became natural, did I, I guess, purchase a lot of products? Um, did I have a lot of products in my stash? I didn't have a whole lot of products in my stash because I was just, I was just starting out and I was trying to figure out how to, I guess, get my hair um, moisturized, how to, yeah, how to keep my hair moisturized and how to get rid of frizz. Those that was my main concern there when I was first um, going natural because I knew my hair was dry. I knew um, I had really dry hair because I was coloring my hair all the time. And to keep your hair nice and healthy and keep it from breaking, I had to make sure my, my hair stayed nice and moisturized because like I said, I had color treated hair and when I went to use um, a lot of the you know the the curly girl um, products it seemed like they would dry my hair out it seemed like I wasn't getting that moisture but when I used the products that I um, would use when I went to like you know straighten your hair um then I felt that I was getting the moisture from the the conditioner. So that's what I was mainly using that the um like the deep conditioners and from the from the line that I straightened my hair with, which I guess I shouldn't have been doing that, but it was working for me. So that's why I stepped um stuck with that technique using those products yes they had silicones but yes my hair was nice and moisturized and i felt that the the frizz was tamed a little bit i'm gonna say a whole lot because it, the silicones and i was using heavy products which for my hair um i guess i didn't need those heavy heavy creams and heavy butters because i I had like medium texture hair back when I first started. You have to remember I'm older now, so as you age, your hair your hair changed. My hair is not as as thick and full as it used to be. Um, so I was using a lot of thick butters and um, creams back then, and I felt that it did weigh my hair down, but my hair it stayed nice and moisturized um, because of the I guess like the silicones and stuff. I didn't know about not using silicones on your hair and using silicone. I didn't know anything about that because all the products that I've always used had silicones. You know, you don't know anything about um, silicones and things now, which um, I mean, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I know it's not good to use it on on your curly hair I mean you can but I guess you use it in like you know in moderation or so or make sure you cleanse your hair good after using a silicone product but um but yeah back then I'm gonna say no I wasn't a product junkie um, like I said I did use the, the Shea Moisture line that was thick um, but I did like that because I felt that um, I did get the moisture. It did not last me that long. And at that time, I was only using like one product, like a one and done. I didn't know about, okay, you use a cream and then you use a gel or a mousse. It was just one product. I would buy that, what's that, the Shea Moisture Smoothie, and that was it. Apply it to my hair, and that was it. 
that was it I didn't have a gel I didn't have um, any mousse or anything it was nice that one day and then after that you know it was a hot dry mess I was like my hair is so dry and that I just put it up in a ponytail and that was it or I would add some conditioner um, at that time I was using the Giovanni conditioner I would add some of that conditioner in my spray bottle and some water and I would just spray it and retwist it it was like every night I was retwisting my hair which I didn't like that but it my hair came out nice the next day or so but Mm, yeah that that was a lot yeah that was a lot of manipulation that I was doing to my hair when I first started because I I didn't know I did not know but yes for for those um like deep conditioners I kept my hair deep conditioned I knew to do that because like I said I had color treated hair so I was always faithfully deep conditioning my hair now, um, I was really big on, um, what do you call it, like making your own, uh, I guess, deep conditioner or, or pre-poo or treatments. I was big on that. And my favorite one was that avocado, olive oil, and egg or banana. So the, that was my favorite one. I would do that maybe like once a month, blend it up and everything. And I think I have a video on my avocado <laughs> treatment that I used to use all the time. But yes, that one there I used a lot. I did a whole lot of um, hot oil treatments because when I had my straight hair, I used to do the hot oil treatments all the time it kept it kept my hair nice and healthy when I did that so I was trying to follow the same method as when I had straight hair which it's it's a little different it's, it is a little different when you have straight hair and then have curly hair but um but yeah other than that I used to love those home remedies and you you make your own your own um deep conditioners or treatments because I felt that they work. I did. I felt that they work. And it's like now they say don't use it because I guess um, the strands, I guess the holes that are in your hair, or the it's not good for your hair. I don't know. I still do my hot oil treatments every so often. I will do that. But um, I haven't done that avocado deep conditioner treatment in it's been years it's been years um but yep that shea moisture lines oh you know what in my other favorite one was the mixed chicks is that the name yeah mixed chicks i used to love that one that was a one and done one and done I used that for the longest time after that shea moisture I used and it was like drying my hair out and I was like so I ended up finally trying that one because I you know Mo knows I will follow her <laughs> so when I saw that she was using that and I said well let me try that one I really did like that one that one it made my it made my hair nice and I felt that my hair was um, moisturized. Like I said, that moisture didn't last me that long. It did not last me because like I, said, I was doing, I guess, maybe a one product and wasn't sealing the moisture in. Um, so I don't know, but I did like the mixed chicks. I like the shine of my hair. That's why I like the mixed chicks. Um, what else did I use? before um then I did try um Carl's daughter that was on my list the milk the Carl's daughter milk that was one of my um favorite ones I did like that one I liked it because of because of the shine and I did get it like I said that moisture I think my moisture lasts me maybe about 
two days and then that third day is like ponytail time <laughs> ponytail time <laughs> yes or i would mix my my conditioner in my um water in my bottle and just spritz it and twist it up that's what i would do never did a wash and go when i did do a wash and go and i would use just one product that is like the next day it looked like i had like a like a jerry curl that's the way my curls look they looked weird and i was like why don't my curls look weird <laughs> so um i think because the product was too thick for my hair i think i was applying too much to my hair and it was like weighing it down but then i had the curls all at the same time so I think that's what was going on. And, you know, back then I wasn't, I guess I wasn't applying the products like, a, like I should have been doing because I would take, split my hair down, down the middle and then just apply it on that, like you're doing a ponytail or something. And that was it. Then go to the next side and do the same thing. That's what I would do. I would never, I didn't really section my hair and and run my fingers through and comb it or do all that until maybe maybe about what four years later or so when I start to see um like I said Mono was Mono's was the one that I really followed the whole time. I'm trying to think of someone else. Um was that mahogany I think that's their name mahogany curls or so I followed her so those were the two that I really followed on YouTube um, when it came to curly hair um, but yes yes those are the mixed chicks shea butter um, shea moisture and um, then what else did I use oh the um, the um, curls daughter I wanted that curls daughter to work so bad my favorite one was the black vanilla the shampoo and the conditioner remember I think it was called black vanilla vanilla it smelled so good and it did leave my hair nice and moisturized but like I said it only lasted like like two days or so um what else I did um, try, I did try the Diva Curl products. Did not like that one. Um, my hair was just automatically dry. It's like soon, it was just dry. I think it was the only one thing on there was the gel. I had just started to add like a gel in with me. I had maybe just a tiny little bit because I didn't want those noodle curls. I didn't want my hair looking like a, a jerry curl or so. So I had just a tiny bit. I put like a little tiny bit in my hand and then rub it together and just smoothed it down like that. And that was it. Other than that, that was the only, I was like, was that the only gel? That gel I did try. Um, and I want to say that was it for the gel. I wanted to, um, I wanted that, what's that, the Equal Styler gel to work. I did buy the olive oil one, the green one. Could not get that to work. I would put just a little bit. And like I said, I think at that time I wasn't applying enough, like enough gel. It was like I went to a whole lot, applying a whole lot. Then it was like I started to apply when it came to the gel. Just that little bit, just that tiny bit. And uh, I would just, just smooth it down <laughs> like that. That was it. But um, but yeah, that it that's that's it. The Diva Curl. And then after all of that there, then that's when I what the Eaton's body work came out. And that was just my favorite. The Eaton's body work. Um that the leave-in. What did I use? I used the leave-in conditioner. That was like my one and done. One and done that I did use. Um, I think that's what I have. That's what I have on my hair, on my on my page, on my YouTube page. When you open it up, it's like the picture. 
that's what I had in my hair. Just that one and done um, product. I think I have another picture. I'm going to show you some pictures at the end. Um, I, I found a few that I did um, <laughs> that I did um, have from when I did my hair back. Kind of when I first started. Um, I haven't, I didn't find the very, very first ones, but I did find just a few here and there because back then I wasn't really taking pictures. You know, you had your phone, but I didn't really take a whole lot of pictures back then because actually I didn't like my hair. It's like, I'm not taking a picture. My hair is looking <laughs> jacked up. But when I thought it looked halfway decent, I did start taking pictures and I'm glad I did start because I wanted to I, I wanted to see the results. So that's why I really started taking pictures of, of my hair and stuff. It's like I told my daughter, oh, take a picture of my hair. Take a picture of my hair so I can see what it looks like. And then I can see, oh, my God, it looks horrible. Or, oh, okay, well, I need to do this and I need to do that. And then I had, what I had? I had blonde hair. I had um blonde hair i had red hair and then it was like an orangey color it ended up turning like a the blonde ended up turning like an orangey color and then i end up going like a a reddish kind of color and then that's when i went to that cinnamon it was a cinnamon brown and i had that for the longest time love that one got a lot of compliments with that um cinnamon brown but when it came to that, the other colors and the orange, and I was like, what was I thinking? But what happened was I had the blonde, and then when you put that, I guess another color, it was another color that I had put on top. Um, and it started when I went out in the sun, it started to turn, I guess, like orange or so. It's like as I was out in the elements or so, I guess. It made my hair turn orange. Yes. Oh my God. If you only knew. But um, I had a little damage. Um, not too bad. But I just need to make. I had to make sure I kept them ends trimmed. All the time. Because of you know the color that I did have in my hair. I most of the times I did go to the hairdresser to get my hair colored. Um, after that, um, then one of my girlfriends, she did hair a whole lot. She was good at doing hair. So she had started to do my hair and it started to get back don't you know, more healthy because I would go to her faithfully every two weeks. So she would color it and then keep it trimmed for me. And so, yeah, so she helped my hair come back to life, <laughs> come back to life. So, um, so she tell me she would tell me what to do, what not to do, when it came to the color. But other than that, everything started to come together. I'm gonna say, yeah, good. I started to find my products, and I'm gonna say within what like four or five years or so, that's when I started to see my results. To see. Um, that my curls are starting to look nice and it's like, oh, okay. I think I'm getting this It's starting to look nice and especially with the wash and goes That's when I started to feel a little bit more on the Confident side to say, okay, I'm gonna wear a wash and go just gonna wear it. Yes I did the one and done product and it ended up being it ended up being like really really like poofy but I liked it. I liked it. Like I said, I had to control how big it got when um, when going to work because, you know, I was in the office. So I was like, I don't want it to get that big. So I didn't feel confident. So I kind of like would push it down. <laughs> I would push it down or pack it down. So, and um, other than that, I, yeah, I like it. And I actually got compliments on, on my hair and I was like, okay like okay but um but yes that that is it and let's see what other product um I want to say oh the Camille Rose I like the smell of the Camille Rose I ended up my first one was of course you know the um 
the um the curls oh the curls milk the curls milk that's what i use that one there was too heavy too heavy for my hair and i didn't think nothing of it i had the shine the frizz was gone and it was like oh my hair looked really nice i actually liked it and my hair stayed moisturized with the camille rose um milk but um as i was looking back at my pictures and everything it's like my hair looked like really weighed down and it looked thick for my hair but back then i didn't worry about it or didn't think about okay well that product is too thick for my hair or or so you know it's like okay long as your hair looks nice and looks decent presentable you were fine with it so that's the way i felt but um so i did use that camille rose um milk for maybe about um about a year and a half and then i had stopped using that one and then that's when i um started to use the eaton's body work and that one there the whole time i guess i went like four years or so or longer with the eaton's body work that one gave me the perfect results i did not need a gel i did not need a mousse well i didn't even know anything about gels and mousse and all that i just didn't want my hair hard you know how you say it was like i want my hair to be soft to be able to you know you touch it and it's nice and soft that's what i wanted and i used that eaton's bio work and it was like i'm done i found my product and that went on for like four four years almost five years a long time until it stopped working <laughs> yep yeah, it stopped working i don't know if it was the product or so or or what because i would clarify i was good at clarifying my hair in deep condition so i don't know what happened um have i tried it since then i no i haven't i haven't tried it since then maybe i should try it now to see how it would work but i do have so many other products that i love but um i don't know maybe i will but we'll see but yeah that was one of my favorites that i did um like and yeah oh let's go back to um my kinky curly i started at the beginning with my my kinky curly when i was doing the the shea moisture and then it was like the kinky curly that's what i tried those there those are the two there that i kind of tried there so i always i did like the um the kinky curly leave-in because my hair felt nice and moisturized i would use that as a like a one and done a one and done thinking okay that's all i need <laughs> was that there didn't have no hole or anything i had the moisture but then it was like my hair just like it poofed up it just poofed up so yeah that was it i can say guys that yeah that's it for the products but um right now let's see i do have a lot of products and i'm gonna say now since i know how to do my hair since i feel comfortable with um my wash and goes that i have now i can say now am i'm a product junkie <laughs> I do have a lot of products I do and I I can I can go with the combos my favorite like I have a video on my favorite combos I can go with just that and I'm happy I can go with just that and I can just say I'm done I have my products but I don't know I just wanted to see what else was out there I just wanted to try other brands to see not if I can get it better because I think I know how to, um, don't you know, contain, I guess, fix the frizz. I know how to get the definition and I already know how to keep the moisture in my hair. So I feel comfortable with all of that. It's just pretty much just trying out different brands and then I try it out for you guys.
maybe you guys are interested to see how it would work on my hair and and see how the product is I try to explain it as best as I can but make sure you read go on the website and read you know the ingredients and the directions for yourself so you will know how that product works too as well don't rely on the youtubers to okay well it works like this or it works like that it may work that like that on their hair but just remember make sure you read for yourself to see how the product works I will always do this okay well let me check out this product and I go straight to the website to see what's in it and then see what it's supposed to do so that's what I usually do when it comes to products um, but other than that yes ma'am I do have a lot of products but starting out no I'm gonna say no I wasn't a product junkie because I wanted that one product <laughs> to work and I would just use actually use the whole container use it up every did I wash my hair every week I washed my hair every other week um I would re, um, re-wet my hair. That's what I would do. So if I washed it that week, then that next week, I would just wet it, twist it up. Wet it, twist it up. I did do that a lot. Um, but then after that, then I started to um, co-wash a lot. Um, I used the As I Am. That was one of my um, go-to, the As I Am brand. But it was just the cold wash and it was just the leave-in that I would use I didn't use anything else didn't use anything else until later I um, tried that um, what was it the gel it was a gel that they had curling gel or so yeah so that's what I did try that one but yeah but anyway guys I just wanted to pop on and just give you some idea of some of the products that I did use and how they worked I had the frizz that's what I mainly was trying to get rid of the frizz I was trying to keep my hair moisturized I had the hardest time trying to keep my hair moisturized didn't know just didn't know how to do it and it was like, why is my hair so dry? I deep condition. I would shampoo, deep condition. Um, only thing was moisture. I'm going to say that um, the Giovanni, I did like that conditioner and shampoo. I used that for years, which you guys know I still use it to this day. I used that for years. Um, and the leave-in, I could never. I used that leave-in too by Giovanni. I could never find the leave-in for a while it was like I didn't see the leave-in anymore so I had to find something else that's when I went with the kinky curly because I couldn't find the Giovanni leave-in that's what I did but all of it comes back see you talk it out and it comes back to you <laughs> that's it. talk it out just talk it out but yeah that's what happened definitely that's what happened mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, those were the good old days, <laughs> the good old days. Anyway, I'm glad I know I have my regimen. I'm glad I know, don't you know, how to tame the frizz, how to keep the moisture in. I am very happy um, what, um, don't you know, what I have achieved with my hair. It takes a while. You see how long it took me? It takes a while. And the key is... Be patient. Be patient. Yes, guys. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you these pictures. I do have a few that I found. So um, I tried to put them in order, but I don't think they're in a whole lot of um, order or so. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you the pictures. Alrighty, guys.